I'm Steph, and today we're gonna check out The Key Murder at the Oakdale Club. Oh. Now this can be played solo, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And um, you guys can help me out over in the chat, but uh, this is a crime solving game from Haba. They have various difficulty levels and this is a medium level difficulty. I do know that in order to solve the case, we're going to need four digits and in the easy one, you're going to need three digits. So it is a bit more complicated. So that's cool. And um, we will be looking to figure out the three murders that took place at the Oakdale Club. Let's take a look. It's kind of a mess, but let's take a look. Okay, so, let me put this cover down over here. We got a whole bunch of cards. You kind of, like, do this. This is how you play the game. You have them all displayed out on the table just like this. All in a big mess. <laughs> so, it's exciting. It's exciting. Okay. And what you're trying to do is use the fewest value of cards. See, so some of them have four, some of them have two. So you're trying to use the lowest value of cards you can to solve this, these crimes. And once you think you have a four digit code out, you will punch a hole through a lock and see if you're correct. Correct. Um, we are playing the purple case. So we have a purple key here. Uh, so there are all these different cases inside, all these different keys. I've already played the red case, so I already kind of remember what that was. But the purple case is totally a different scenario, and, uh, you know, that's out of the game. Very cool. So what that means is we're going to look for cards that have purple, the purple color on it. And because... We are looking for specific things regarding the, the day, the, the person in charge of the crime. We got the weapon. We have the location at the, at the course, at the golf uh, club. And we have the getaway vehicle. So we're going to have to figure out these four things. And once we have an order for these, then we're going to find the numbers associated with them. And we are going to hopefully be right. <laughs> So, they actually, I think it's based on the time of day. So, this happened at 7.30, this happened at 8, this happened at 8.15. So, you see the different clocks up there. So, all these cards are going to have different pieces of information. Like, for example, this card here, we can tell, will be a, a time, because it's a clock. We'll figure out a time. And we will figure out a location. So we're going to get some information regarding that info uh, regarding that specific thing. But if we wanted, say, this one, this will be on day two because there's a big two there. And it will tell us about the location. And so all these cards are going to give us a little bit of a hint based on what it's saying. So we don't have a purple on this card, but it would tell us about the person, the, the time, and the location, but it's a four value card. But we will get more information because it is a four value card. So that's exciting. All right, so should we draw a four value card to start the game? Or should we just... Anything is good at this point. So... Okay, so for example, we can we can draw this card. It is for value. It has purple on it, and it says the location and the car. So let's take a look at it. Okay, part of the license plate looks like this. Part of the license plate looks like this. Hmm. So we're looking for this pattern. So there's also this book here. This is a handy dandy guide. So we will use maybe these colors, maybe this time, or 
it's referencing these carts right here. So it's like, da, da, da. The license plate. I'm not really sure what it's trying to tell me yet. So we'll just put that aside and uh, we'll see if it makes sense coming back to it later. I'm not really sure what it means. Wondering if it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like long. Long, short. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what that means. So we got the back of this, which has the palm tree a clue or just a picture? No, the palm tree is definitely a clue. Um, it's what this is telling us is this license plate that we're supposed to figure out goes with the palm tree. So for example, if we knew the palm tree was on day two, we would know this car was at that, you know, if the red car was in relation to the palm tree, we would know the red car and the palm tree on day two. So I don't really know what the, the line, the dotted lines are telling me. I'm wondering if it's like, The palm tree is definitely the location of this. The part of the license plate looks like this. So what I don't quite understand is what that's trying to say. Because, like, if you're looking at these numbers here, 9185, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm trying to figure out what these little dots are. Can I? Maybe I can make it sharper if I do this. Let's see. So what do you think those dashes mean at the bottom there? Not really sure. Maybe, oh, maybe it's one, two, three, four, one, two, distance between locations on the map, but we know it's the palm tree. We're trying to figure out the go-kart at this time. So, like, hazy. I don't get it. Not focusing properly. I have it on manual focus, so. It has something to do with these numbers, I believe. But I'm not quite sure. I don't have the overhead working. I have it on my face. So it has, I think like it's either going to be negative space or I was trying to see like, okay, the nine has the full bottom there, uh, but no, it's, I don't, the license plate looks like this. So there's some sort of pattern with these numbers and I don't know what it's, which one. Are the dots in those rectangles on the sides of the car? No, there's no dots on the, the rectangles. It's just empty. Can we see the map again? So it goes long, short, medium, short, medium, long, short. Five minutes, 15 minutes.
part of the license plate looks like this. Leads me to believe that it's because of the car. Five minutes, 15 minutes, one minute. No idea. Yeah, I think it has to do with like a pattern in the number, but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we should keep looking. I'm not sure what that's trying to tell me. <laughs> All right, let's try something else. Let's try a... No. So question mark is the item at question and the... What card are you trying to find it from? It's, it doesn't have a number, but it's this card. So I'll just put that to the side. I'm not quite sure what, no, what is the output supposed to be we are supposed to figure out the the go-kart that goes with the palm tree for this card so we this should be telling us exactly what color vehicle was used as the getaway at the palm tree murder Can we see the map again? Yeah. I'm trying to see what, what is better. I can hold it up again. Why isn't it focusing? Man, I could try doing auto, but I don't think it's going to work. No cards on the map. It's, it's just, it's we're trying to figure out the cart based on this pattern. And it has to do with the digits 9185 or 7434 or 2483. I'm thinking it's like a pattern, like long, small, a little bit bigger, small. But I'm not sure. Let's just look at another card. Let's just say mistakes were made. Let's do something we don't even know anything about. Okay, so. No, 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 no purple. All right, this one. Perpetrator. Weapon. Okay, so this person used the golf club. So we open this up. <laughs> you owe me stuff. I watched a Twitch ad for those bits. Thanks, t -Bon. Yay! <laughs> I owe you. I don't know. I don't have control over the ads. I would just shut them off if I could. So we have to find 
this pattern blue red green blue red green yellow blue blue red green yellow red haha -ha. it's this guy a mitt a mitt he used I don't know if he's on day three but we'll just circle it for now okay We'll just, we'll move it if we find out that he's on a different day. Okay. I don't know Morse code. Yeah, neither do I. All right, this is a two-point card. On day one, we can figure out maybe who the person is. She did not kill on the day one. All right. So we know it's not her. Just a little piece of information. Safari so does it. Interesting. We can find out about day two and the location. All right. Day two, the clubhouse was not the crime scene. All right. All right. If only we knew what those dots meant. What do we want to know information about? I have to find a card for it. We can go for day three getaway. The green was not the getaway vehicle on day three. The date, yeah, good choice. So if we know that the green car was at the palm tree, for example, we would know the palm tree is not day three. But I don't know if we can figure out if that means the green. Part of the license plate. It's... I wish you could take like a screenshot. Take, take like a screenshot and see if you can figure it out. Let me just make it clear. Okay. Take... Get it all in there. Take a screenshot. See if it makes sense to anybody. Those lines and those license plates. It will make sense to somebody. I think all it's saying is like there's a long dash with the space and then a short dash. Then a medium dash. I just don't know. I just don't know. This is a medium level difficulty. Should be able to do it. All right, what else? All right, day three, the location was not the palm tree. Okay, all right. I 
think it is the green. I think the palm tree and the green are together. All right, all right, all right. Purple. Purple. All right. The weapon and the person. Oh, we already know that one. Bad luck. Don't be like me. I already knew that. That's my one criticism of the game, is that you can lose lots of points if you find the same information that you already know. All right, so let's try this one. The, the weapon and the location. Okay, the golf club was not the murder weapon at the palm tree. Hmm. Okay. So wherever the palm tree is, the golf club was not. Those colors are different. Yes, they are different. However, there's a big line of colors that you have to search. Okay, the, the item and the time. Okay, between the murders with the trophy and the golf club, more than 30 minutes passed. Now th this, this is harder, this, okay. Between the murders with the trophy and the golf club. More than 30 minutes had passed. So basically, the golf club and the trophy had to be day one and day three because more than 30 minutes had passed. Therefore, the first murder took place at 7.30 and then 8 o'clock and then 8.15. So that means, that means the poison has to be the middle one. Has to be. Keep searching. All right. Let's try that. Okay. Nineteen twenty. Is this? She was at the park. Where is the park? Over here. So it takes at least 10 minutes to go to there. And So 10, 20, 20, no, 10, 10, no, okay, so 10 would be 1930, so she couldn't have been, so she couldn't have been, she could not have been here. We already knew that, but we should know more things now because it would take 35 minutes to get there or 55 minutes from this point to get to here or 20 minutes to get to there. I don't 
know. I don't know. If she was at the bench at 1920, which is 720, and 20 minutes to get back to there, I don't know. Forty minutes, fifty minutes, fifty five minutes, or thirty five minutes. Okay, thirty five minutes is better. Yeah, this is. More challenging than last time I played this. 20 minutes. I guess she was there early at this at the, the, the time of the murder. Not really sure what it's trying to tell us. Hmm. Okay, so he's still with that. We need to find more information about people, I think. People in getaway. Fled with less than three golf clubs in the trunk. Hmm. So he fled with the green or red golf club club green or red now I have to take notes um day three day three person the perpetrator was wearing jewelry on the third day. So it's either him or her. One of those two. Right, the weapon on day two, we already know that. So we don't need to look at that. All right, the person on day two a male perpetrator killed at day two. All right, so that means she was here, and one of these was there. She did not have the green getaway. She was not at the palm tree. She could have been. The getaway at day two. The getaway vehicle was not green on day two. Well then, that means day one must be green. Okay. No, I lied. Don't listen to me. That was not correct. That did not have purple. I pulled it too quickly. I might have been just confused. Pulled purples. Yes. Make sure you pull the right color, guys. All right. We'll go for another four-pointer card. The person and the weapon. With the poison. Okay. That's good. All right. 
orange, yellow, green, gray. Orange, yellow, green, gray. Orange, orange, yellow, green, gray, red. It is Jason Bow. Jason Bow. All right, he's got the poison. So poison was day two. All right, that's good. And he has green or red, so it's not blue. That means um, it is here with the golf club. That means the trophy was day three. So we know all of the people and all of the weapons. What we don't know are the getaway cars and the locations. So we need to figure that out. Getaway and locations. All right. Oh, we already had this. She was at the bench at nine. Uh, that's not correct though. That's the location. Yeah, I shouldn't have pulled that. I thought I pulled a different one. All right, we need the getaway. We need the little getaway. All right. The golf club was not transported by green. So that means he had the green Get away, get away. Okay. Red was not at the golf house. I don't know how to mark that, but we need to figure out the golf house. All right. Blue was not at the palm tree. Okay. Hmm. I have to just keep these to the side because we don't know the getaway vehicle. The time and the getaway. Okay. Blue was the getaway car directly before green. All right. Well, that helps. That gives us that it's not at the palm tree. That means the second is the palm tree. And that means this is the red. And that was not at the house, so we're at like that. This is the house. So we figured it out. I'm trying to figure out the palm tree was the green vehicle. So it was two, four, Eight. No. Eight, three. I don't know. I still don't understand that clue at all. I don't get it. All right. Let's see. Okay. So. We have the first number as one, 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 one is our first number. Our second number is, so right now I am looking at, got too many things. This little sheet over here tells us the code. Okay, so that's gonna give us a one. This, now we have a golf club followed by a poison and so that it goes five and then over here we got the clubhouse the palm tree the golf course which is a four and finally we have the blue followed by green and red which is three so our number is one five four three Let's see if we are right. 
one, five, four, three up here. I'm gonna look. And we are correct. That was the right hole for the purple key. I'm not gonna show you the back because I don't want you to see it. But um, we did it. It took a million more cards than it was probably supposed to. I found a couple duplicates. So, yeah, this one, usually I use about half of this. And normally I can figure out the small clues that they're giving, like, this line here. These lines, I still don't quite understand. So, yeah. Hey, Alex. So if anybody figures it out, you should let me know. I still don't know. The first one's super weird. Yeah, I don't either. So I, I could just not be understanding it. But, um... That was the key. And th this series of games is... The designer of um, the crew, for those interested. So it's a neat little like puzzle type crime solving game. That was that. Let's see. <laughs> Yay! We did it. We made it out. We figured to solve those crimes million cards <laughs> half a year oh my goodness thanks Alex for that subscription yay craziness I know right <laughs> miracles happen so what What's cool about this is that, you know, you can play with the family. I actually like it better as a solo slash cooperative experience uh, because it comes down to the value of cards and you might just have an unlucky draw. So if you work together, it's a little bit more fun to try and um, solve those cases. So I think that's a cute game from Haba. You could check out that series. So there's like nine cases in each box. So that's also pretty cool that they have all these multi-use cards. And um, yeah, that was the key. Murder at the Oakdale Club. And I'll be right back.